That's a very interesting battle that is taking place in Bihar even as we speak. 21 ministers have opposed the proposal of Chief Minister Jitan Ram Maji to dissolve the state assembly. Seven ministers have stood by him and now there is another meeting and this time this is a meeting of all the MLAs, uh, the JDU MLAs. That meeting will take place at the behest of Nitish Kumar and Jitan Ram Maji loyalists are expected to stay away from this 4 p.m. meeting, this meeting that's supposed to take place another 20 minutes from now. Uh, let me quickly bring in headlines today's Rohit Singh for this big, big political battle in Bihar. Uh, the JDU alleges, at least the pro-Nitish camp alleges, the script of which is being written at the 1111 Ashok Road office of the BJP uh, by the BJP President Amit Shah. Uh, Rohit, take us through the latest, uh, the cabinet proposal, the proposal of, of the chief minister found only seven supporters. Well, Gaurav, first, first let me tell you there was a meeting that took place between Nitish Kumar and Jitan Ramaji and it was expected that some sort of a patch-up formula will, be, will come out uh, from that meeting. But that failed, that meeting completely failed and Jitan Ramaji was completely determined that in his cabinet meeting which he had called at 2 p.m. he will be deciding something big and that big decision has been uh, taken and in the cabinet meeting that took place there were 28 cabinet ministers who were present and out of them to, uh, 21 of them were against this uh, proposal that was brought uh, of a dissolution of the assembly and only seven were in favor of, uh, of, of dissolution and these seven are very close to uh, uh, Jitan Ramaji and we have seen this in the last few days and, now, and that is why now Jitan Ramaji has been authorized for this, uh, to uh, recommend dissolution of the house and in all probability the house will be uh, dissolved. Jitana Maji will very soon take a decision in this regard. But yes, what what was expected, the patch-up that was expected, that, is, that has not happened. And simultaneously another meeting is about to begin uh, in the Bihar Assembly of the JDU MLAs and in that meeting uh, it is in all likelihood Jitan Ram Maji will be uh, uh, dismissed from that uh, from that meeting, he will be dismissed as the chief minister, okay. and Nitish Kumar will be elected as the new uh, leader of the legislature party. That's that's very interesting. So does Jitan Ram Maji? He was supposed to fly to Delhi uh, around five this evening. Uh, is he coming to Delhi? Will he attend the Niti Aayog meeting? Will he meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi, or is there a change in that plan? Well, Gaurav, in the last. Uh, Seven to eight hours. This is the only program to which Mr. Jitan Ramaji is sticking. Five o'clock, he is flying to Delhi, uh, and tomorrow he'll be meeting the Prime Minister Narendra Modi for that Niti Aayog meeting. And we are being told by sources that he'll also hold consultation with the Prime Minister on the sidelines of that meeting. Except, uh, except for this plan, Jitan Ramaji today cancel all other uh, appointments and, uh, and his, uh, engagement. And this is the only uh, engagement to which he is speaking. So he has not gone to the meeting of the JDU MLAs. He is still at his residence, one Anemar. And at 5 o'clock, he will be flying to Delhi to hold meetings with uh, Prime Minister Modi in the Niti Aayog meeting. Okay, stay with me for a moment. Nalini Singh, what do you make of what's happening uh, in, in Patna? Uh, KC Tyagi of the JDU just a short while back said, this is this drama in Patna being enacted by Jitan Ram Maji. The script is being written in Delhi. Well, if, if that is proved, then uh, BJP will be branded as fishing in troubled waters. Uh, second, I think the more important question is, um, can Maji, can Jitana Maji take away the EBC, the extremely backward caste vote? Now, this is a vote that, uh, that was nurtured by Nitish Kumar. This is how he had actually expanded his base, the JDU base, by getting the Mahadalit vote in. Uh, will will Maji take away that Mahadalit vote or will that also split now? Um, and who will claim it? Um, yes. From Nitish's camp, who will claim it? From BJP's camp, who will claim it? And, uh, you know, but it does smack of an ego battle again. Yes. And I'm just looking at a mature politician uh, like, like uh, Nitish Kumar, who is you know, who, why is he associated again with some sort of ego battle? Because a rapprochement uh, attempt not working yes. with a mature politician then smacks of something. This had happened earlier when Nitish Kumar had broken off with the BJP. Yes. Now is Nitish Kumar actually taking the risk of breaking his away, own party. Yeah, breaking his own party and breaking away from the EBC. And I keep repeating that the EBC is a huge, if I'm not mistaken, it's 55 castes. Uh, yes. w you know who should be nurtured and kept together 
So I'm okay. also a little bit taken aback. This indeed is very surprising. The the course of events, of course, uh, many in the in in the BJP saying that this was expected. Uh, extreme arrogance of Nitish Kumar is what uh, they had described uh, this fight all about. Uh, Nitish Kumar, as, as Nalini Singh was rightly pointing out, they had nurtured this extreme backward class. In fact, he was Jeetan Ram Manji's mentor. He put Jeetan Ram Manji uh, as the chief minister, but how the tables have turned.